Good day all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name Lookout. Last night I stayed here at the Wheatville Market where they allow hikers to camp for free. So I camped here last night for free. I got some cooked food from there which wasn't amazing but it did fill a hole in my belly. Last night I slept terribly so I feel like I'm in a daydream. I've been out here trying to hitch a ride eight miles back to trail for about half an hour and no one wants to stop. But when I do eventually make it back to trail, I'll be hiking around 20 miles along the Los Angeles Aqueduct, which is a flat, open, exposed area of trail, which... Oh, trucks again. Which most people hike at night, but today is going to be cooler and there's going to be some cold winds, so hopefully I will be alright hiking it during the day. Ladies and gentlemen, I am finally back on trail. That hitch that I got took me two hours, but finally a really good guy called Austin pulled over and gave me a ride back to trail. And he had heaps of knowledge about hiking and the land use in this area. And he was just telling me all about it. So Austin, thank you so much for the ride. Really appreciate it, man. And also really, really appreciate all of the knowledge that you shared about this local area with me. It was fantastic to learn some new stuff so the plan for today as I said is to hit up the Los Angeles aqueduct which is a flat open piece of trail that is not so interesting apparently just massively exposed most people do it at night I'm gonna brave it today because it is quite cool in temperature compared to how it can be so it should be okay hopefully some of the winds that you're hearing uh, manage to keep the temperature down apparently it's not so interesting out there so i'm going to try and film what i can to, and keep it uh interesting for you and try and share what knowledge i know about that area So the aqueduct was first constructed in 1908 and then opened five years later in 1913. It uh, was really controversial because it took water away from other communities to provide water for other areas. It's over 400 miles long and there was a dam called the St. Francis Dam that was included in the construction, which collapsed two years later and killed over 400 people. It's crazy. So, there was a second aqueduct built in 1965 and opened in 1970, and that's the one that we're walking along at the moment. So this is it, 3.2 miles of straight walking before we reach the aqueduct access road and just following the road next to this pipeline. So ladies and gents, I've decided to deploy the umbrella. Let's see how this goes with how windy it is. So this is it ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles aqueduct. We've just reached it. This concrete lid covers the water as we follow this aqueduct for the next 20 miles. And so far, the umbrella experiment is going okay despite the strong winds. You might be able to hear the water rushing underneath this inspection cover here. To the side of me are all of these Joshua trees and for me, they're still a novelty to see, so I'm very much enjoying walking amongst them.
looks like we're now traveling through wind farm. Whoop, whoop. So one fact about wind turbines is that the most powerful model in the world, one full rotation of its blades can power the average home for a day. Now I don't know if these are that particular model, but they'll still be kicking out a huge amount of electricity just with one rotation. And they're probably getting a rotation every four to five seconds. So this is the water source. It is hard to understand just how immensely large these turbines are until you stand next to one. I've seen them before up close and they blew me away with how large they are. They are just absolutely immense. Ladies and gentlemen, I am exhausted and this little alcove here provided by this juniper bush is going to be my home for tonight. I'm going to park my uh, tent under it and have some relaxing stretching and a, and a nice big dinner. So with that, that's all I have for you today. What did you think about the 20 mile walk on a flat concrete aqueduct? thrilling adventures topped off by the windiest place that I've been on this trail so far that wind farm it was just incredible to walk through that engineering and uh, marvel at it but I'm glad that I'm setting up tent so that's all I have for you today thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one